What's going on, everyone? ODC here. Just kind of waiting for some people to trickle in here. It is a little bit later on a weekday. Um, <laughs> so I don't blame people if uh, a lot of people don't pop in. But I just thought I would uh, give my thoughts. Um, this has been a video that I've been kind of uh, wanting to do, been kind of pushing to the side just because of other stuff, uh, other figures dropping within the last couple months. Andy, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? Um, and a few other things, just uh, life in general. But um, I, uh, a lot of people have been asking is, uh, on other pages, um, even the Joy Toy page, um, and on the Strident page, obviously, and even on my own Facebook page, I've been asking me, uh, what are my thoughts on acid, acid rain figures? And, uh, I, I just kind of wanted to do this one-off video. Uh, I don't want to make this too long, so I don't want to rant too long. Hopefully it doesn't go too long, but, uh, I, I kind of wanted to just give my thoughts and, um, my opinion on the acid rain figures from Ori toy. Um, that's O R I toy. Um, Ori toy, I believe that's how it's pronounced. But anyway, um, I just kind of wanted to discuss these figures because I haven't really touched on them at all. And, uh, I thought, first of all, I need to get this plastic bag out of the background because that's going to drive me nuts. Um, I just wanted to discuss some of them. I don't have too many. Um, uh, this is <laughs> what you see is what you get right here. Um, this was my first one. I got this a few years ago. Uh, this is from Buck's team. I can't remember which, what his name is off the top of my head. Uh, these other two, on, reconnect. Okay. Um, I don't know. Sorry. Sorry for the technical issue there. For some reason it wasn't, uh, <laughs> my stream went to, to hot garbage for a second there. Uh, Zora Pox, what's going on? I haven't been on Facebook too much lately. Oh, that's fine. No big deal. I thought I'd just discuss these. Uh, like I said, I got these two back in like these two. Um, and then her, I think all five of these all at the same time. But anyway, that regardless of when I got really quick, I, I just want to say like, uh, aesthetically, these figures look good. Um, if you're going for more of like an army builder theme for them, when you start getting into some of the humanoid looking faces, uh, you can definitely tell the difference between like a joy toy quality face sculpt and toy um, acid rain figure face sculpt because the acid rain figures, uh, I'm not really feeling those, the humanoid looking face sculpt off. They look dirty for some reason and it just, they don't look, they look like they've been rolling in shit all day. So I just, I just, um, <laughs> I don't mess with the human figures. I don't own any of the human figures. I go for more of the alien esque robotic look, as you can see right here. Woodman, how's it going, buddy? Uh, but, um, yeah, so that's what I was going for, for with these. Um, hold on one second. I'm going to have to pause the stream really quick. I'll be right back. getting distracted here so my thought process is with these where i was going to army build some of these 
And I was only going to go after the ones that look like army builders, like these two in the back, these two in the front, maybe the flame trooper, stuff like that. Make a small little uh, group of these guys and, and call it a day and pin them up against my, my, uh, blah, 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 blah. my, uh, joy toy figures. But <sighs> I don't know what it is. I just, it's, 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 well, I know what it is. I'm saying that, uh, as a rhetorical question, <laughs> but I just, for some reason, I can't get behind the price with these figures. I, I can't get behind the, the chintziness of the actual action figure. I want to say that he's a little bit better built than some of the newer ones coming out. Um, I don't know if it's a quality in the figures themselves because maybe these are these ones because they're army builders are made a little bit more cheaper. I don't know what what the deal is with that. I've never really had too many issues with this guy specifically. Uh, civil feel to them. Um, I don't know what it is, but for some reason, when I was just articulate, it's one of these two. I think it might be this guy. The leg just kind of disintegrated on me, and I had to fix it. I'm wondering which one it is now. I can't really tell. I must have glued it so well. But when I just went to go bend the leg, um, like this, I mean, this whole piece, this whole bar piece right here, just snapped right off. Uh, and then pieces of it started chipping away uh, just from me holding it up. I wasn't even, like, picking at it or anything. Uh, just pieces started falling apart off of it. Now, a lot of other people have had issues with um, the astronauts as well. Actually, I do have an astronaut. I don't know where the hell he is. I might have packed him away. But... Uh, uh, pieces fall off like that. I, I know you can just glue them, and I usually say whenever a piece falls off a figure, oh, just glue it, no big deal. Um, but uh, you can see some of the inner workings, and, and it's just the overall chintziness of these figures. These do not feel like Joy Toy figures. These do not feel like uh, a Hasbro G.I. Joe. These have their own kind of feel to them. And they don't feel like they're going to really hold up well in the long run. And they don't even feel like they're going to hold up when you just get them brand new and you start articulating them. I don't really have any faith in these figures um, other than doing certain poses. Like even when I'm articulating the, the arms, I just feel like stuff is just going to just start breaking. I try to be as careful as possible with them, but these do feel rather cheap. Now you can take his helmet off too. You can't take the the, the uh, there's there's no face mask or anything like that. That's just the helmet and that front. Uh, and uh, if you're paying around, I don't know, 20 bucks for them each, like I did, that's not really a huge deal breaker when it comes to a specialty three and three quarter inch figure. But when you're paying, you know, $44 for a, uh, an acid rain character and it's just one character, or if you're paying over $100 for one of their mechs, and I heard that their mechs aren't very good as far as quality control is concerned, too control cons and then you have to ask yourself with qual i don't know i've already had three breakage issues with three of their s three of these figures uh his leg snapped right off which is straight out of package um one of these arms just fell apart on the flamethrower just kind of disintegrated it's kind of the same thing as the as and the arm joint on the other one. So this head kind of is permanently stuck in this chin. Um, I'm careful when it comes to stuff. 
especially my action figures. Um, I know how to articulate the joints properly without getting a breakage issue. Um, I don't really have these out in the heat. Um, I live, I live in a house with air conditioning. I actually have two air conditioners, so I, that shouldn't be an issue. Um, it's not too cold in the house either. It's uh, stuck at a 70 degrees and, uh, I, it's, it's, it's the toy. I'm telling you, it's, it's just the toy. Um, I just don't have a lot of faith in these. Some of the paint apps are pretty cool. Um, No, the stream is freezing. I'm trying to, I don't understand why this. It doesn't freeze again. People are leaving. <sighs> yeah, I know nothing I can do. I can't go back to Buffalo. I don't want to go back to Buffalo either. <laughs> um, okay, so hopefully we don't have any more issues. Hopefully I can get through uh, a fucking live stream without having connection issues. It's my internet. It's nobody else's internet. So if you're wondering who whose fault it is, it's completely on my end. I have Comporium, and it's by far the worst internet company ever. It's hot shit, okay? Hot shit in a bag is what it is. Anyway, so if I can finish my thought process here, I for completely left off where or I forgot completely. Blah, 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 I can't talk either. I completely forgot where I left off. Um, so with these long story short, I, I really just would not really recommend you spend your money on this. I'd say you spend your money on, um, Marauders or Hacks or, uh, Joy Toy. Um, I'd even buy GI Joe's before I bought these. I spent a dime, one more dime on these. Um, I just, I don't see... Unless they drastically drop their prices because the quality doesn't meet the price point, um, even at $25, I'm still not getting, you know, if shit's breaking straight out of package, it's not worth $25. When, when stuff breaks straight out of package, it's not worth a dollar to me, personally. Um, when things break, which they shouldn't straight out of package, there's no excuse for that. Sorry, it's un inexcusable. Uh, I understand sometimes bad things happen and not everything is going to be perfectly made. I get that. But when I'm consistently getting breakage issues with, with figures like this and then I feel like I have no confidence in articulating the uh, these figures, I just I, I would say completely pass on, on these. Um, I would say skip a lot of the other ones too. Um, I've just seen a lot of people, I don't know how a lot of people even collect these unless they're just standing them up and not posing them at all. Uh, but then again, what's the point of having an action figure that can't do any action? It's not an action figure, it's then a statue. Because an action figure needs to be able to do stuff. And you can't get the poses that you really want out of these unless they're just standing static like this. And it's boring. So I would say for all of you that were wondering, for all of you that are watching in the future for this video, um, I'd say uh, take a pass on these. Uh, save your money, put it towards something else, put it towards a, a Joy Toy figure set, and uh, call it a day. Uh, the articulation range of motion is, is decent on them, but you know if it works, you don't know if you're going to snap a knee joint or break it. I've even boiled all of these figures. I've used a heat gun on them. 
it doesn't matter. It's still going to just fall apart. And I don't even see for longevity's sake the point of collecting these because these are just going to just disintegrate. That's what happens with a lot of older G.I. Joes. But guess what? Those G.I. Joes are 30 plus years old. There's an excuse for that. I can understand a 30 plus year old G.I. Joe T-joint breaking at the crotch because it's made out of metal uh, when it comes to this or an O-ring snapping because it's rubber and it's 30 year old rubber. It's going to happen. But with this, with in in 2020, and, and you're having an issue straight out of the package. No, that's inexcusable, and I don't want to. I don't want to hear it from anybody that oh well, well you know you got to understand they they're a smaller company. Yeah, you're a smaller company, but there's tons of other companies out there that are small, or or are lesser known that are making just as good plastics or better plastics than Ori Toy is. I just. Like I said, this isn't a bash Ori toy. This is, you know, hey, maybe they'll wake up and see that they need to make better products. That's the point of this video, really. Um, usually if I bash something, it's usually because it fucking breaks. Um, there's a couple other videos of Marvel Legends that snapped right out of out of the package on me, and I'm like, that's it. I'm, I, I've got to make a video about this. i got to at least tell people that this is not a good thing. And Marvel Legends have gotten better over the years. I've still had some breakage issues, um, and it's usually with multi-pack figures with Marvel Legends. But other than that, speaking on Ori Toy, I would say uh, I can't speak for the, the, you know, the, the more expensive figures, but if they're all using the same kind of plastic, they're probably going to have the same amount of issues. Um like I said, the only one that I didn't really have an issue with was this guy. Um, he does have good articulation range of motion. You can get him into a actual sniping pose. Like, his head will go way back. Like, way back. Here, I'll just show you a sniping pose really quick with him. And it's really fun to pose him. But not every one of... of uh, These toys are going to be able to pose like this, too. That's the other thing. He's a sniper. He's supposed to get be able to get into a pose like this. And now his leg is all locked up on me. So I'm not even going to mess with that. But as you can see, let me get these out of the way. You can get him into a full sniping pose. And he'll look good doing it. But they're not all like this. So, and are you are you going to take the risk and spending a lot of money and get this quality? Or are you going to take the risk and spend money and get this quality? I it's a it's a toss up. You don't know what you're getting with what. So I don't know. I would say pass on this line. It's it's a I think there's way better action figure lines out there you could spend your money on. Uh, when I look at the overall picture of it, um, like I said, I had a plan to put all of my acid rain figures up against my joy toy figures and do like a whole inner universe with those between those two and inner, um, battle between those two. And now I'm just like, I'm not putting more money into these figures. They're too expensive. Um, they're the quality's not there and that's about it. So, um, I will say this, the, uh, articulation range of motion on this guy is stellar. It's fantastic. Um, I dig the ghillie suit and everything, and 
Um, he does come with a headpiece too, which I don't have here just because I wanted to be able to see the face. But um, he's a he's a halfway decent one, but now his legs are locking up. And I don't want to push the joint because <laughs> if I push this joint and it snaps right at that 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 uh, piece right there in the middle that's sticking out exposed, um, that's the end of his leg. So <sighs> they're just not that fun on a scale of <laughs> not fun to fun. These are not that fun, um, which is, I don't know if, not if not fun is a is a zero <laughs> and fun is a ten, these are like a a three. Even though they're capable of doing good things, sometimes I don't have confidence in them. So I'd say three out of ten for the for acid rain figures. Um, and like I said, these are I don't own a lot, but the ones I do own are just meh. They're really meh. For the higher price point. Yes, the Jason, the uh, Joy Toy neck articulation is completely different from Acid Rain. They're not the same. Um, and Acid Rain figures don't all have the same neck articulation. This guy obviously cannot look up. He can barely move, look up. And he's an Acid Rain figure. But then again, you have him which can look in a complete sniping pose all the way back like that. But he's supposed to, so he's got. it makes sense that he does that. Um, these guys right here, they their heads pop off the peg joint before you can really get them past this. This is all they allow. So, But these are army builders, you know, so it's, it's hard to... <laughs> It's hard to look at that. Let me see what I can do with this head with the helmet off. I know I glued it, but I can still get the hinge to move, maybe. Well, it's moving a little bit. But that's about it. This is all about all you get. So, I don't know. I'm just really not that impressed. And initially, I, I was kind of impressed because... You know, you, this is all metal. It's like a nice heavy metal for this hose piece going directly to the backpack. I was like, oh, this is pretty cool uh, little flamethrower trooper. But I don't know. I just don't trust these joints. And even right now, they have like kind of like a ratchet to them. I don't trust that ratchet. I feel like the ratchet's too strong for the actual plastic joint, and I feel like it's going to just snap. The other kind of annoying thing with uh, the ankles is that the ankles kind of do that ratchet. I hate when ankles have a ratchet to them, kind of like when Marvel Legends have a ratchet to their ankles. I'm just like, just stop doing that shit. Just stop doing ratchets. <laughs> they work for Transformers, but they just don't work for three and three quarter inch figures because sometimes you'll you'll get them into a ratchet position and that position doesn't doesn't get I kind of need it in between where the ratchet meets and and doesn't meet if you know what I mean so I don't know I just not feel in the ratchet joints on a three and three quarter inch figure it's like we're already limited to size don't limit us again with range of motion so, but I mean, when they do articulate, you can get them into a uh, fun poses, but it's few and far between. Anyway, let me go back and see if there's any questions. Which one looks better besides the G.I. Joe figures? Uh... Yes, they definitely have Bigfoot syndrome. That's why I was going to use them as like aliens. Because they're definitely or disproportionate. Um, the arms are sometimes way too long for the bodies. Like, look at the arms on here. Let me get him out of it. Um, look at the arms and then look at where the waist is. 
The waist is like all the way up here by his past his belly button. And then the arms are like almost to his like <laughs> almost touching his knee. That that's not a humanoid proportion. It just it just doesn't look right. So I, I was using these as like aliens. Their, their proportions are definitely way off. Their heads are sometimes too big. Uh, the feet are sometimes too big. Uh, or the heads are extremely small. And I, I understand like there's different proportions. Different people have different proportions. But they just, they don't give off the feel that they're human. They give off the feel that they're more alien-esque. Or robot-esque, you know? So I'm going to attempt to articulate this leg. And, like, I'm not really putting any pressure, but these ratchets are just, they're too much for the joint. It's like maybe if they get rid of their ratchet joints and put a smooth joint in there, it'll make it a little bit better for them as far as longevity. But I just don't like these ratchets. It's like overkill. And you can get them to look down the sights and everything. They look good doing it. They don't, there's no real big issue with that. I want to say I kind of wish that they had a, uh, a hinge joint going up and down the pistol hinge joint. Because then you kind of have to work with the arm. Twist the arm a little bit. To get that flush like so. And then get this back over here. Let's try to get him into a kneeling pose and see what we got. See, I mean, I'm hoping nothing breaks. But if it does, at least it's on camera. And I'm just trying to ease, ease the joint... See, hear a loud pop? Just not feeling that at all. flush that out there we go sorry if i'm being a little quiet i'm just trying to articulate this little nerd there we go kind of reminds you of eon flux proportions yeah you know it does that liquid television per, uh, proportions and like look he he looks fine when he gets done and like i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm cruising for a bruising with this one and i think this is the broken leg one but I will articulate one of these big guys just so you can see what I'm talking about. They just... Uh. Sounds like the figure needs some yoga. I know, I agree. Yeah, some of them, Terry, are $30 plus. You know, 30 or more. Um... Uh, do these figures fit in Acid Rain Max 2, or do they do that stupid thing that Joy Toy figures, Joy Toy does, where the figures aren't in scale with the Max? Um, that was from mm, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, Melna Milos, uh, Melna. Um, I have. Two Joy Toy mechs, and both figures fit in their mechs perfectly fine. And I can show you that if you want me to. Um, Joy Toy figures will fit in mechs if they come with a mech. The only ones that don't were the very early Joy Toy figures. You'd love to see that? Okay, I'll just bring you right over here and I'll show you. They can fit right in it. <sighs> 
well, there's he's kind of posed sitting out of it, but this is a 118 scale mech called the Freeman mech, and he does fit right in there. I'll bring out the one the 118 or the 124 scale mech. I'll bring him back over here. And he's already in it, so I'll just open him up. Get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. If I can get my chair to work, Christ, I'm a cross. All right. Let's put him there. I gotta figure out a way to get this higher up here. <clears throat> Uno momento, four for four. Uh oh. All right. Hopefully my camera doesn't fall. All right. Let me just articulate this. Let me get my some room here. My crappy workstation here. Hold on, bear with me. Knocking shit over. I'm gonna move that. Anyway, I'll just leave that arm up. Okay. So, what you want to do here is push this down. And this all opens up. And what do you see in there? You see a guy in there, right? It fits perfectly in there. This is a 125th scale Mac. So you can't tell me that they don't fit, because they fit. <laughs> so there's your proof. He's in there. No, the smaller scale mech, this is 124 scale mech. It, that figure came with this mech. Okay, this is so most of the newer 124 scale mechs co that come with a figure, they all will fit inside the mech including the 118th, both the 118th scale Freeman mechs fit in the mech. So the 118 scale figures will not fit into a 124 scale mech. Of course not, because they're 120, this is 124 scale. If it's a 118 scale mech, then a 118 scale figure will fit into it. So... There's your little showing of that. No problem. No, no problem. I'm glad to, I'm glad to, if you guys have, like I said, if you have any questions, I will show you. Um, so just to clarify that, if you're trying to buy a Joy Toy Mac, make sure when it's one of the newer ones and make sure that the Mac, um, if it's a 118 scale Mac, usually the 118 scale Macs will come with an action figure. If it doesn't in the future, I'm speaking in future tense, in the future, if it doesn't, um, and it doesn't, then I would assume that it would fit a 118 scale figure because why would they make a 118 scale Mac if a figure doesn't fit in it? I don't think they would ever do that, but I also think that they would also release a 118 scale Mac with a figure. 
Uh, there's a new 118 scale mech coming out this year sometime or maybe next year. They showed prototype photos of it, uh, I think I want to say uh, about a month ago. But um, i show you Oreo. He's adorable. Well, he's sleeping right now. I can't. I don't want to wake him up. I'll show you a Doty. You want to see a Doty? Doty. There's a Doty. There's an Aldo. <laughs> All right, I'm going to attempt to... I'm trying to figure out which one of these I had to repair. And I must have done such a good repair job, I can't figure out what the hell one I did. I can't figure out if it's this one. Let me get my tweezers in here. Get this piece of plastic out of here. I don't know what that was about. I think it's this one. Because the hinge joints off a little bit. So I'll attempt to bend this leg. And like I said, it's it really it shouldn't be an issue. There's this one, the one I glued. This might be the one I glued. I see a little bit of white. So I'll attempt to <laughs> bend this one. Hopefully. Hopefully if it doesn't, it doesn't uh, snap. Okay. There we go. We got the hinge. Let's try and get him to bend. Will you bend, sir? Oh, he's bending. Okay. He's bending. I just don't trust these knee joints at all. Yeesh. Let's try to get him to take it. See, all this stuff is like crusting off. I really hope the knee joints aren't disintegrating on me. Let's see if he'll take a knee. See, look, when I push down on this, I push up. Watch. Show sure you what I'm talking about here. Watch this section right here. You'll see it start pulling back and forth on the joint when I'm just pushing on the ankle. See that? How it's moving? That? See that gap right there? So what you got to do is you got to hold that and then push on the joint. Hold this whole thing, and then push it. So don't just push it like that, this will probably snap right off. So maybe that's a little tip that can help somebody. Or maybe not, maybe I'm just... Oh yeah, With this guy, he, cause he's a little bit bulkier. He seems to be a little bit more fluid with his workings but his chest piece keeps popping off which is driving me nuts let's try and get this in his hand it's just it's still because he's limited because he's so big and bulky he's just not as fun to pose but i guess he'll do his job as a army builder if you're interested in something like that these uh, bigger guys that you're looking at right now, I don't know if they're sold out or not. I haven't really checked since I bought them. But they run around $20, $25. So it's like a Marvel Legend. So that's what you're getting with them. Let me put this up. Oh, he fell on his face. Um... Yeah, the other one is definitely the one that snapped then. This guy definitely skips out on calf day, yeah. Are these by a Chinese company like Joy Toy? Um, I believe Ori Toy is a Chinese company. I'm, don't quote me on that, though. But I would like to assume that they are. I don't have my iPad in this room, or so I'd look it up for you. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they are, though. If they're not, let me know in the comments below. Please correct me. I have no issue with being corrected. Um, more leg lifts. Uh, let me see if anybody else has, has a question. Gaz, hey, how are you doing, Gaz? How cool would it be to have a... Condenser to scale the fit with one to eighteen scale. That'd be pretty cool. 
Um, uh, what else? Hey, do you see? It would be or it would be cool if you and Strident could set up the following podcast interview with Jose from Big Boy. Uh, I mean, if if that's it, that's entirely up to Jose. If he was interested in that, he would have to hit me up, though. We were supposed to do a podcast, like, years ago, and that never became actual reality. Uh, but, yeah, I was supposed to do, like, a, a podcast with... I did, I've done podcasts with uh, Jose before i i know he's a busy dude he's got a business to run he's got family and stuff so i get it it's no big deal he can't um yeah both are chinese that's what i figured yeah so um let me see if there's anything else i can show you i'll do a little comparison with some other figures here's a a recent custom i finished which this was the the newer body from Marauders that they they took pre-orders on last year. I'll just stand these up in the or I'll just get the static posed ones up here so you can get a idea of a size comparison. Um, these army builders run a little bit sh on the shorter side. Let me get this back over here. So when doing comparisons with the acid rain figures, they do fluctuate in sizes between each other. So like you'll see that army builder right there. And then I'll get the flamethrower over here, flamethrower trooper over here. Let me just get her all set up. So there you got the flamethrower trooper. And the flamethrower trooper is a little bit taller than this uh, this trooper right here. As you can see, and then we've got, uh, this guy, I'll bring in some joy toy figures, some Joes, some Marauders to compare. Uh, and they all run like a different size. I want to say he's the shortest than this one, than that one. And then obviously the big boy is going to be the largest of them. And now his chest piece is falling off and he fell over. Okay, we're just going to not play with that chest piece right now. So as you can see, he's taller. So I'll just try and do a comparison with these two since they're a little bit closer in, in size. Actually, I'll fit him at the end. How's that? This guy just did not want to stand right now. This is also the one with the broken leg. Um, all right, so first one up. This is a recent custom I just finished. I'll try and get him on a... To stand up, there's, uh, there's Billy. There is Billy. Here is a newer... This is, a, I believe, off-duty Robin from... From uh, the Zombie Lab line. So there's a comparison with Marauder's figure. There's a comparison with a Zombie Lab figure. Zombie Lab figures run a little bit taller than Marauder. Um, but there you go with that. See, here's a female rotter, just a oof, random one. She's not even set up properly, but whatever. There's that. Here's an actual zombie to compare a zombie to, because they run a little bit different, skinnier and such. Female one. Actually runs a little bit taller. Still runs it still running a little bit taller than the uh, Marauder, and taller than the red one. I want to say a little bit taller than the Flame Trooper, but obviously not taller than Big Boy right here. 
So there you go with that comparison. Uh, next up, we'll do a chicken fried toys figure. We'll do that. We'll bring in the old bartender here. He's got a beer in his hand. And we'll bring in a actual Joe. If I can find one over here. How do you all come out now to play? Right, we'll just use him. We'll use the we'll use backstop here. There you go. There's backstop. I want to say backstop is around the same height. He's bending his knee a little bit. Don't bend your knee, stupid. Trying to get him as static as possible. He keeps wanting to bend that knee. Stop bending your knee, stupid. There you go. Comparison with that. And then we have, who else? Oh, joy toy time. Joy Toy Tang. Joy Toy Tang. Uh, here, yeah, who should I get? Well, okay, we'll just bring in Nomad. Bring in my custom Nomad. Then I'll bring in one of these guys. So these guys, the earlier Joy Toy figures ran a little bit smaller. So I'm actually kind of curious as to see how they're going to stack up. Oh, no, he's actually a little bit taller. A little bit taller. Here's a newer Joy Toy body. There you go. There's, that's my custom Nomad. It's not really that much of a custom. It's just a kit batch. Kit bash. But, uh, yeah, actually, I want to say the, the newer body, even this one, they're all around the same, these two are around the same size, actually. I thought they used to a little bit smaller. It might just be the helmet, though, with the gas mask. But uh, it actually looks like something he belongs like the Division or something, you know. But uh, both of these are, he's a little bit taller than the Red red Trooper. I want to say that, uh, he's about, yeah, they're both a little bit taller than the Red Trooper, but on par with the Flame Trooper. So, so there you go with some Joy Toy stuff. And Joy Toy figures are usually around the same size. So they're pretty good about keeping that size. I keep bumping my head. They're keeping that size around the same. Uh, unless it's like a crossfire... Because I'll bring in, bring this dude in. This is from the, now the the other two figures I showed, no wait. One's from Dark Source, one's from Hardcore Coldplay, which was the Nomad figure. This is from the Crossfire Wave, and he's a little bit taller. So he is going to be actually taller than both of these. So there's a little bit of fluctuation in there, but uh, it, it's it's few and far between with Joy Toy. Usually they're around the, the same height. And just to give you a comparison with Joy Toy and Marauder, there you go. Keep in mind that this Marauder does have a custom head on it. It's not an actual Marauder head, so try to keep that in mind when comparing them. So there you go with that. And I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything else really to compare. Sorry for the technical difficulties in the beginning of the, the videos. It was super annoying. You're having connectivity issues. You're having connectivity issues. Uh, <laughs> nothing more annoying than that. <laughs> but... Um, 
trademark duck troopers. <laughs> But that is, I don't know if there's anything really else to talk about. I can go through articulation with uh, these bodies. I mean, if they snap, they snap, whatever. It is what it is. At least it'll be on camera for you to all see. All right, so the, actually, let me grab the, let me grab this one. This one seemed to be articulating a little bit better. Let me hug up my camera a little bit more so I'm comfortable doing this. <sighs> All right. Yes, this is much more comfortable doing it like this. Okay. So let me get this these hinge joints. Hopefully nothing breaks. Like I said, if you do end up getting one of these, try to hold the joint that they are attached to and then articulating like I'm doing. So there's not too much pressure being pushed on this leg. See how I'm pushing on it? And because there's such a ratchet right here, it's wanting to push the whole leg back. That's how you'll snap the leg off right here. But if you hold it and then you articulate, it moves just fine. Same thing with the shoulders, same thing with the elbows. Obviously the hands should be a little bit easier to work with. Uh, the waist too, even. The waist is actually really nice on these, this one specifically. Um, but anyway, here is the articulation. Let me get this gun out of the hand. You taking off, Woodman? Have a good one, buddy. Thanks for popping in. I know it's a little late. I was going to do this earlier, but I had a bunch of stuff I had to do. So, But anyway, here we go. Uh, and I do have a video. Hopefully my shipment comes in on Sunday. So I'll probably be doing a, uh, a full wave review. I'm not going to say of what wave, uh, but uh, I did get a wave of figures coming in, and hopefully those will be in, and then I'll be able to do the whole wave live for you all, and we'll do a nice longer video. This ended up turning into a long video, obviously. <laughs> I said it was going to be a short video, and here we are an hour later. Uh, anyway, the head can rotate fully. Uh, <laughs> it is on a ball peg joint, so if you push the head too far, it's going to pop off like so. So there's that. Uh, the neck joint is on a separate pivot axis, uh, so if you want to articulate that, you can. Um, obviously, the head can swivel. It does look up about that far. It looks more down than up, and for a shorter figure, you'd hope it look up a little bit more but it really doesn't unfortunately uh, but the neck can look way down and that's pretty much maxed out right there the arms can go up and up and up and up and up and up and that is maxed out for the arm going back down And there you go, full 360 rotation in the arm because the shoulder pad is attached to the actual arm itself, which is a plus. Um, the bicep swivel is there at the bicep joint. We do have a double jointed elbow, which gets a little bit more than 90 degrees. That's about 90 degrees. So a little bit more than that. We do have a swivel at the wrist and we do have hinge joints which go back and forth. So the wrist joints are actually pretty good. The hinge joints are really nice. They're nice and tight. I think they're just a smooth joint. So it's kind of annoying that they have a smooth joint with the wrists, but no smooth joint with the ankles. <sighs> Unfortunate. Uh, the diaphragm joint, which is actually acts as the waist swivel, can pivot side to side. It can go back, and it can go forward, and it can move all around like this. So, there you go. Uh, the can do the splits about that far, so it does have a T-jointed crotch, which is nice. Um, so that's maxed out with the splits. The legs can go up about that far. So this is neutral with the leg. 
and that's the kick. So kick forward, and then there's the kick back, and that's maxed out right there. That's leg neutral in the f over here. Upper thigh swivel, which is hidden nicely. You can do a full 360 rotation if you need it to. Uh, I also don't like the way these knees are set up. They're like... <sighs> you see how the knee is kind of pushed back? I... There's no... This is like as straight as that's supposed to get. So let me bend this knee to get this out of the way so you can see what I'm talking about. I just don't like the way that this knee lines up. It, it It's like the, the... I get this is supposed to be like the calf right here. But I don't know if it's giving an optical illusion. <laughs> but it looks like just a weird shape of this going denting in. And I know this is a robot, obviously, but it, it throws the balance of the figure off. It actually does because then when you try to neutralize the pose or the stance in just a vanilla pose, you kind of have to push this back uh, or I'm sorry, push this back and then push the leg forward to get it balanced properly. Um, I don't know. It, it's just a, it's a weird thing. It's just the way that the figure is designed so by design, that's the way it is. Um, but it's just a little nitpick that bothers the shit out of me. It just doesn't look right. And then with the ratchet ankles, if you get him in neutral pose like this, you kind of have to ratchet him up. And it's like it's got to. It's like the ankle needs to be in the, in between the ratchet where it, it's supposed to ratchet there, and that's too far of a ratchet. It needs to be like somewhere in between that to get a neutral pose. <laughs> Because he's either trying to point the toe or point the heel too much. And then he wants to lean forward or he wants to lean back too much. So it's like can't quite find that sweet spot, you know. So therein lies the issue. And a ton of paint is coming off. Anyway. <laughs> he does have a double jointed knee. And that's maxed out right there. So there you go with that. He does have a... Um, a swivel at the boot. It's a very low swivel at the boot right here. Kind of when I was showing you the articulation earlier, but it can swivel and you have to hold it. He can point the toe right there. He can point the heel like that. And he does have ankle pivot. And the ankle pivot is good. The ratchet at the ankles is shit. The drizzling shit. I don't like it. I just don't like it. Stop putting ratchet joints on three and three quarter inch figures or four inch figures. Um, it, they just, it doesn't help. <laughs> it does not help make smooth ankle joints. So, um, as you can see here, as I'm trying to stand him up, he's like, so it's like I have to bend the knee. Then he'll, not want to do that. See what I was talking about? If I put the knee back, just one hinge, he doesn't really want to stand. He's doing this like boat shoe thing. It's real weird. Then he falls. It's like he's not balanced. So you got to bend that knee. Just one click. Then he stands. So... But what can you do? So that's with these troopers, um, with the big boys. We bring in Mr. Big Boy. Now this will be the testament to see how well this <laughs> larger figure holds up. Let me get this gun out of his hand. If you're wondering why he's missing his chest piece, it's because it keeps falling out and I need to just glue it in, which, but he does have a chest piece that goes right in here. It continuously falls out because the plugs are real shallow. But anyway, I'll try to get through this without that falling out. Um, obviously, if you take the helmet off with this, you can get better range of motion. With the helmet on, you're not going to be able to get much range of motion at all with the head. So, but it will look side to side, back and forth. You put the helmet on. And this is all you get. The arms themselves can go up about that far. They can go down. I'm trying to take it easy here. 
This is what really worries me is the twisting of the arm. I feel like the arm's going to snap right off. I just this figure specific specifically does not feel like fun to articulate. But he does also have a bicep swivel. He can do a full 360 rotation at the arm. I'm just not really trying to risk breaking it. Um, you can manipulate the shoulder pad to go up or down. It's kind of on like a flap, but it does move with the arm. He does have a bicep swivel and a double. Uh, actually, is that a single joint? Yeah, it's a single jointed elbow. It feels like a double jointed elbow. It's a little bit more, just a hair more than 90 degrees. That's about 90 degrees right there. And then he does have a wrist swivel and a hinge joint, which goes back and forth. Um, it mirrors on the other side, and, of course, the chest piece just fell off. Uh, <laughs> um, he does have a diaphragm joint, which does twist nicely. It can go back. There's a lot of gapping issues right there, which I know a lot of collectors have issues with gapping. So if that's a thing that's a deal breaker for you, it, it, he does have it. And he does pivot side to side. Um, the legs go out. This is where it gets really scary, especially these hips. These hips feel very weak. I'm just not a big fan of this design. You don't need him to be the most flexible. He's like a big oaf. He's like a big bodyguard type so you don't need him to do splits so that's fine legs go forward about that far it's maxed out legs go back he does have a double jointed knee which gets about that side about that's maxed out right there uh, let me try and bend this as far back as that'll go and yeah it just gets in the way so that's about all you're getting is that like I said, yet again, you want to be careful with these ankles, but they do swivel. So I would hold this joint and then start articulating. Then he'll point the toe. It points the heel a little bit past neutral. This is about neutral. So one click past neutral. He'll point the heel, and he does have an ankle pivot. So there's that. Uh, that is the big oaf style. I forgot the name of this guy. I'm going to be honest with you. That's why I'm just kind of doing a generalized thoughts on acid rain. Um, next, really quick, we'll do her. Let me get her flamethrower out of her hand. Uh, this is a really nice metal. It's like a braided metal, which is a really nice feel um, or touch to the hand. It's pretty cool. Um, you can take the helmet off and get, obviously, better range of motion, blah, 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 all that fun stuff. The head can swivel. Blah, 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 blah. Put the helmet back on and not really moving that much. <laughs> Uh, the arms can swivel in a full 360 rotation if you need them to. They're on another flap joint like, like the other figures. Arms can go up about that far and go down. Bicep swivel, double jointed. It feels like a double jointed elbow. It's a really nice smooth elbow joint though. Swivel at the wrist. Hinge joint goes back and forth. Uh, pivot side to side, goes back and forward. There's a little bit of a gapping issue if you go back too far. Uh, but he can swivel also, or she can swivel. It's supposed to be a girl, I believe. Um, the can't get really a good sense of the hip joints. So that's about maxed out for the hips. Leg can go forward. There's a double jointed knee. Pretty good double jointed knee. Points the to toe. Points the to heel. There is ankle pivot. And you can swivel the foot. So, pretty good with her. That's her in a nutshell. Um, also, you can remove the flamethrower piece off of her back entirely. So, 
If you're interested in that, that's something to know. The more you know. Uh, and then Oldies 104 over here. This is an older Acid Raiden figure, and I will remove this off of him just so you can get the full aesthetic of his range of motion. Um, the head can go way back uh, because this whole neck joint has its own ball hinge. It can go super far back and get almost, like really good Iron Man flying poses. Obviously, he's not Iron Man, nor is he going to be flying, but you need it for sniping poses, so... There you go with that. Um, it's on a ball peg joint, so you can tilt him side to side. Uh, we got lots of... Geez, the Jav Turkey Master, this dude. So there's that. Um, he can pivot a little bit side to side. Arms go up, down, full 360 rotation in the arm. Um, and he does have a bend at the elbow which is a little bit more than 90 degrees, which is good. Swivel at the elbow, no, no bicep swivel here. Yeah, I wish uh, G.I. Joe's and I wish actually Joy Toy had this neck joint. It's very well done, especially with some of the Joy Toy sniper figures. I wish they had this neck joint. The Jav Turkey neck joint. Sorry, can't help it. Um, he does have a swivel at the wrist and a hinge joint, which goes back and forth. Um, this side does not have, it's, it mirrors this side. So there's no pistol hinge joint, unfortunately. Oh no, there is. I'm sorry. With this guy, he does have it. So I take that back. This one goes back and forth. Oops. And that just popped out. Uh, really chintzy joint on that. That looks a little bit too skinny for my liking. Uh, but he will go back and forth, and this one will go up and down. He does have a diaphragm joint and a waist swivel. That's what it looks like, at least, unless it's a sculpted. I'm trying to take a closer look at that. Looks like a diaphragm joint in there. Uh, the armor's getting in the way. But he can swivel, regardless. So that's good. You can't really crunch forward. You can crunch back a little bit. So if you really want to get him into those sniping poses, you can really hunch him way back. So that's good. Really good splits. Upper thigh swivel. And he does have the upper, upper thigh swivel too. Like right at the, the uh, hip joint. So that's good. Um, legs go back. They go forward. Like I said, upper thigh swivel, which can do a full 360. Now, my knee joints, for some reason, they weren't like this before. But let's see if we can get them to work. Yeah, there we go. We're going to slowly get this to hinge where I can get the double joint to work. I don't like pushing these joints. As, and this, is, this figure is becoming a little bit harder to find. Hopefully, yeah, it's just not wanting to go. Let's see, there we go. I can get this one. Let's see if I can get the full range of motion here. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. I'm trying to take it easy as much as possible. I'm not, I just don't want to snap the damn leg. It's just these joints were, are super tight. There we go. That's a little bit better. But there you go with... With it maxed out. That's it maxed out right there. And these ratchets are so tough. It's like it, it's like it's impeding on the <laughs> the figure itself. It's like just stop making these ratchets. They're just so hard. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the ankle will swivel at the ankle joint where it connects to the foot. The heel will point, there's the toe, toe, obviously there's more toe range of motion than heel. Um, there's no ratchets on these ankles, and it's so much better. He can pose so much better than the other ones. But those knee joints are super tight. So, and look at how much paint has come off from me articulating all these figures. 
But uh, there you go. That's uh, acid rain articulation, range of motion in a nutshell. Sometimes you're going to get really good range of motion and uh, articulated uh, points like this guy. Other times you're not going to get so much if you have figures like one of these. Um, I want to say these red guys are pretty decent with articulation. Um, she was pretty good with articulation. He's really good. I want to say he's the best with range of motion. Um, the big boy obviously isn't going to be that great because he's just big. But um, a lot of paint flaking going through articulation. Um, but And that's more paint flaking from the first times I was playing with these guys. So there's that to be said. Uh, I guess I went on a lot longer than I thought I was going to with these. Oh, there goes my camera. How embarrassing. Oh, well. Um, I guess I went on a little bit longer, like I said, than I was anticipating, but uh, I wanted to make this as informative as possible. Um, so the more informative, the better for us collectors. That's why I don't mind ever doing longer videos, I guess. Usually when I do an edited video, it's a lot shorter. You just, you're just not going to stand. You're going to make me bend your knee, aren't you? You little asshole. You little asshole. Yeah, just, they got to get rid of these, these hinge joints. They're just, they're shit. They are just shit. Don't like them. So I still have to bend that knee to get them to go. But, oh, now, she, now, now you're leaning back. Stop it. Stop it. Anytime, Jason. Glad to help. Let me see if anybody else is, uh, Wipeout Wednesday. Why does the chess piece come off? I, I don't, I have, don't ask me. I didn't design the damn thing. I have no idea. I, I mean, when you take a look at the chess piece, it's just, looks like it's got, I like to think of it as kind of like a weak point, you know? Uh, I don't know, maybe you, you blow the chess piece off and you imagine it's like a weak point, then yet that's the only way you can take them out. That's what I like to imagine with them. Uh, I don't know by design why that's a thing. There's no real inner workings with this. Um, it's not like a, a bat trooper or anything where you can really see what's going on there. It just looks like a, I don't know, more armor <laughs> underneath the armor. <laughs> it looks like uh, I don't know some like brown camo or something. I, I don't I don't know what the point of it is. So I I don't have it. I wish I had an answer for you. I just don't know why. They should have just probably just left it like this. I don't know. I might end up gluing these. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll glue one and leave the other one normal. But uh, yeah, I, I guess it's kind of like a hit or miss which one you're gonna get, what kind you're gonna get. You know, if you're going to get, uh, oh, now you're going to fall over, aren't you, you jerk? You jerk. They still look pretty cool, so it's not a total loss. Uh, I don't know. I, I Like I said, I think this is it. I'm not going to get any more of these. Um, I might come up with a different idea for joy toy figures um i might make these go with my mercenaries uh i don't know i'll have to figure something out that's a i don't know it's it's it is what it is i guess i hate saying that i really do but uh you know whatever i just personally like i said uh, overall i just don't think these are worth the money um, they look cool, but they are just not, I just don't have confidence in them at all, that they're going to hold up over time, especially even brand new, uh, when I've already had three breakage issues. Um, I can't believe this head didn't pop off when I was doing articulation. I must've done some amazing glue job I don't know about, but let me get that helmet back on. 
but I don't know. Do you guys have any more questions about these figures before I end the stream? You think with the feet he'd be able to stand? I know, right? I agree, Gaz. Yeah, they do have big feet. Yeah, it is bad construction. I agree, Jason. If they if they upgrade the plastics to like what Joy Toy's doing, I think these wouldn't have any issues. Sure, quick look at the weapons. Absolutely. All right, so the weapons that go with... I'll get the big guys out of here first. The weapons that go with the flame... I'll do the flame trooper first. I'll keep her up there so you know which one goes to who. So she comes with this pack, this backpack, obviously, because she's a flame trooper. And let's just go ahead and put this on her. There's a peg hole on her back and a peg joint. You just plug that in, and it stays really well. Uh, this is a little bit more of a pliable, rubbery material, which is pretty good, so it does stay well. And it is because it's pliable, you don't have to worry about it snapping off or anything like that. Uh, that's one thing I can, I can say pretty confidently. I've never had any issues with any... Um, anything snapping or popping off like some joy toy figures have that issue um especially with like pistols and such uh some of the pistol holsters will pop off it's not the end of the world you can just glue them right back on but it is kind of annoying getting a brand new toy and then shit falls off of it all the time constantly uh until you glue it but anyway here's the backpack in grave detail They always have this dirt wash going throughout them, and I think that's just part of their lore. They're kind of in like a wasteland setting. So there's the pack. Like I said, this is a really nice metal braided line right here that attaches to the flamethrower. Uh, the flamethrower, a lot of their guns and stuff, they don't have them. They're not the most detailed I've ever seen, but they're pretty good. It does have a hole there, so if you have like some sort of maybe Marvel Legends effects or something like that, flame effect, um, you could maybe port that in. I, I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, let me see if I can actually use the flame. This is from Marauders World War II flamethrower. Let me see if I can use that. Uh, it'll fit. It doesn't fit uh, <laughs> all that well. You kind of have to push a little bit, but it'll... It'll go in there. So if you wanted to use this flame effect from the Marauders World War II figures, you could use that if you want to go that route. It'll fit in there. You just have to give it a little bit of a push, a nudge. But uh, there it goes. There's the design of the flamethrower. Pretty. Looks like a flamethrower to me. Like I said, it does fit in her hand. So there you go. So no issues there with her. Next up, we'll do the uh, these red troopers guns. There's the sculpt of the gun. Let me get him out of here. Yeah, the, the braided hose is really, really a nice feature. But there you go. It's very black. They have very blocky designs, like bricks <laughs> for their guns. But there's a little bit of red paint detail right here for the barrel cover. But the rest is kind of like a, like a, a brownish tone to it. So, but it's nice. It's okay. It's not the best design I've ever seen for a gun. It's, you know. Acid Rain figures tend to have, like I said, a little bit more of a dumbed down design. They're very simplistic. 
Uh, I want to say the my favorite of them are the big guys guns. These look a little bit actually. <laughs> these look a little bit more like '90s X Men guns. These right here <laughs> for the big guys. That screams '90s X Men to me. <laughs> But this is my favorite design out of all of them. The ones that I, at least that I own. I'll show you the sniper rifle next. But looks pretty cool. Like the under barrel grip piece right here. I like the holes right here. Let's see if you can get that flame effect in there. I know that it's not a flamethrower, but it does have two barrel holes. So let's see if we can fit. We can pretend maybe he's got a flamethrower attached to it. So it'll kind of fit in there. So if you want to maybe use that bottom hole as like a flamethrower and the top hole is like a ammunition. You can go that route. So it's a nice looking weapon. I guess it's my favorite of the bunch. And then for the sniper, which would be this dude right here. He does come with a bipod, which does just swing down. There's the articulation for that. Like I said, this is a little bit more of a simplistic blocky design, but it does its job. It's obviously a very large, long range rifle. But very blocky, very futuristic looking. You can see the muzzle is very much shaped like a maybe like a Barrett 50 cal muzzle. Uh, I'm trying to see, it. it looks like you can articulate this back down here, but I don't think so. At least I don't think so. Let me see. No, we can't. Okay. But there you go. It does uh, sit on its bipod nicely. So if you wanted to have it displayed like that, you could. Or like that, you can. Whichever way you want to do it, do it any way you want. It's your toy. It's got a little handle right here. There's the scope. But looks pretty cool. That's pretty much it. Um... I really think there's anything else left to say. Let me put his ghillie suit back on. He's ghillie. And like I said, he does come with a head covering as well, but it's really hard to see the face when he's got the head covering on, so I just kind of left it off the, so you can actually see the character that is him. Uh, like I said, I don't think I'm going to be doing any more Acid Rain reviews, so don't expect that um, in the future. I kind of wanted this to be the big, um, the big uh, <laughs> Acid Rain, the one-off Acid Rain video I do. Um, I don't know. If I do end up purchasing any more in the future, it'll probably be because they're on the cheap um, and it'll probably just maybe be, if best, uh, I don't even really do unboxing videos. So I don't want to say that, but it might just be like a showcase video or something like that. Something quick, to the point. I'm just going to kind of get these all in one shot here. There we go. I'll just put them in the back background there. But... Yeah, don't expect any re future reviews. This is kind of like an all-in-one video. I just kind of wanted to discuss them, go through articulation so you get an idea of what these are capable of and what they're not capable of, what they can bring to your collection, what they cannot bring to your collection. Um, if you're on the fence, if you want to buy one or not. Uh, I'm not telling you what to do with your money because it's your money. If you ask me my suggestion, I will give it. I would say put your money into something else. Uh, at the end of the day, it's your wallet, your money. You earn it. You spend it the way you want. Um, but uh, if it were up to me, 
like I said, I, I don't. Uh, I got the temptation to buy some of these, but at the end of the day, they just weren't worth it to me. So I would say if you're on the fence, pass on them. If you really want to get one, get one that's cheap and try it out. See if you like one. I would say pass on these the astronaut ones. They're just not that very good. Um, they've got worse quality control issues than these two or these two. So I would say pass on, on those uh, figures. Um, I know they can kind of be tempting because, you know, we don't get too many astronaut type figures, but I really just don't think those, those figures are worth it. Um, they have severe knee issues, leg issues, um, shoulder issues that snap off. So I would pass on those definitely if I could recommend something. Uh, other than that, if there's any more questions and then I will end the stream here because it's going on way too long now. Uh, There would be no deer meat left after that, the sniper rifle. I know. You can kill two deer. You could probably kill like six deers with those. It's like an anti-tank rifle. <laughs> Things longer than the... <laughs> Look how tall it is. It's like as, it's like as tall as the, the figure. It's taller than the figure. <laughs> my girlfriend tells me what to do with my money. Wow. <laughs> It seems like their main focus is their vehicles and then their figures. Yeah, it could be the case, you know, could be. I don't own any of their vehicles. I'm really, I really was tempted to get the, one of their, their motorcycles because they look very futuristic and I wanted to use one, but I, I don't know if I want to risk spending a lot of money on a motorcycle that may or may not break. I don't know. I'll have to wait for a review on those. I think the C-A-A-T is probably my favorite of the group. Though the flamethrower flame thrower looks neat as well. Uh, I would say, yeah, between these two, if I have to pick one that's the best, it's him. But he's kind of become more difficult to find. Uh, so out of these, I would say I'd pick her over them. Or them. That's just my wh what I would what I would do, knowing what I know. But um, but yeah, like I said, uh, if I get my shipment in on Sunday, and don't get me started on Big Bad Toy Store because I had to call their asses twice this week to get them motivated to ship my stuff out. <laughs> uh, Crimson Assault Android Trooper. Yeah, that's these two, these two. Um. Thank you for that, by the way, uh, Gaz. I appreciate it. But, yeah, you know what? You could use these two as maybe like a... To go with these guys. If you wanted to. If you wanted to add some lore to that, you could go with some Action Force stuff. Battle Action Force stuff. And you could be like, oh, wait, maybe they were using a little bit more futuristic stuff. So, you could go that route. Black Major, bring Black Major in there, and he's got testing some new stuff. There you go. There's Black Major. You can go that route if you wanted to. So. Yeah, just like Wolfenstein. That's right. You could go that route. Um, but, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Big Bad Toy Store. What was I saying about Big Bad Toy Store? So yeah, Big Bad Toy Store. I put this order. I put an order in. Now, granted, I understand that it was a three day weekend. Um, I get it. He had a three day weekend, but I shipped my. I set up for shipping on last Wednesday. So Wednesday, they had all day Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday had just shipped out. That's six days. It took them six days to process my order and ship it out. It just shipped out today at like, what was it, like 4 something, 4.30 or something. Oh, no, it shipped out later than that. I think it was like 6, 6.30 my time. 
So I think they're mountain time. So they're like two hours behind me or an hour behind me, whatever. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> it's supposedly supposed to get here by Sunday. If it's not here Sunday, I'll just have to do it, wait until Monday. But uh, yeah, Big Bad Toy Store needs to get their shit together. Uh, what was it? The first day I called some guy, or I called them. I left them a message, and they called me back and said, "This is I, I shit you not." They said this on Tuesday. Oh, hey, just so you know, um, uh, I was like, oh, I, I was just wondering, you know, if you're going to be able to ship this out because I might be going out of town, and I don't want if I'm going out of town a shipment to show up and no one's here to sign for it or pick it up. And then I got to go through the whole hassle of going to a FedEx store and trying to get my shipment. And that's a big pain in the ass for me, at least. Um, so I called them just to see if I could, you know, if they're going to ship it out on a certain day or if they know when it might be shipped out or shipped to me. And if I could just upgrade my shipping. And they told me, oh, you shouldn't have to upgrade your shipping. It's no big deal. And that, uh, oh, if, you know, because they had a three-day weekend, we'll see how, mu how much our workers want to work today, seeing as they had a long weekend. I was like, what? What did you say? You'll see how much your workers want to work because they had a three-day weekend. Why would they come to work if they're not going to work? So, um, <laughs> yeah, that's what they told me. I was like, I was dumbfounded at that point. I was like, huh? I was like, okay, so is there any way I could speed up the process or if like I can pay extra just to get it because I'm going to be out of town? That and I don't want someone swiping my package in case, in case you know. I live in a really good neighborhood, but I don't want the, the chance of it, you know. Someone sees a big a, a box sitting outside. Um. So then they told me, oh, it'll probably ship out today. So like two days go by and nothing shipped out. So then I called it, I called uh, today or yesterday and uh, or a day went by, I'm sorry, and nothing shipped out. So I was like, well, I don't know. Maybe I talked to the wrong person. So I called back, long story short, and I was like, hey, is anything going to ship out? You know, if it is going to ship out today, I tried to upgrade my shipping. They told me not to. And they told me they were going to ship it out yesterday. They didn't. He's like, oh, yeah, we'll ship it out today, and it'll probably get to you by the 11th. And I was like, the 11th is Friday. That's two days from now. I didn't pay for two-day shipping. I paid for three- to five-day shipping. And they're like, oh, well, we'll get it out today and make sure you get it by the 11th. And I was like, okay. Didn't get it out by yesterday. <laughs> so then I'm like, I don't even feel like calling. I'm like, obviously, I'm just not going to be here. I'll try to make arrangements for someone to just put it in the house. So <laughs> I get the shipping notice today and then it's going to be here Sunday. So hopefully Sunday, cause I leave Monday, um, we get it. So I don't know. It's just a big pain in the ass. I... <sighs> uh, Jason said, uh, Oh boy, I have a pile of loot. I have to ship soon. So maybe it'll get in by December. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to do shipping, I would just suggest don't ship the $4 method because sometimes that shit takes like 10 days for them to, after they ship it out, it takes like sometimes 10 days to get to you. I would just say it's worth spending the extra money just to get it shipped a little bit faster. Just go to the FedEx ground and pay like, what was it, I think, for three items, which was a whole wave of figures, a two-pack, and a single-carded figure um, in my pile of loot. Uh, so what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven items in my pile of loot. I paid 11, just under $12 worth of shipping. So that's not too bad. Um, so there's that. But um, anyway, I'm done. I'm not really bitching about it. I'm just kind of pointing it out so people know that it took them six days just to process my order <laughs> and then ship it out. I was like, God damn, man. I was like, I just got an order today. Or I got a, I got a, this is what baffles me. I got an order from Joy Toy today. And I haven't even opened it yet. It's 
right here, literally, right here. Okay, right there. I got a I got a notification two days ago that they were shipping this out. I got this all the way from China in less time, and I still haven't gotten my Big Bad Toy Store order, and that's in the states. Big Bad Toy Store is in Wisconsin, and I got this all the way from China directly from Locker Toys in less time than Big Bad Toy Store had to had in six days to process my order, just to process it. It's it's absolutely fucking pathetic on their part. I'm sorry. I know they, they probably get a lot of orders, but so do, so do Locker Toys, so you can't make the excuse. So I don't even know what's in this, so let's open it. Oh, they're actually shipping stuff in a... Well, they must have. They must have heard the complaint that people were complaining about their stuff being damaged. So, ooh, I think we got a couple Randy Ortons here. We got some Randy Ortons. So, this I got from Rocker Toys. Picked up the. Come on, can I get that off? Good lord. Uh, I picked up my Vipers. So there's the single Betty Viper Squad. So there's the Viper Squad. I got that, if I can show you somehow without knocking everything over. I picked up the Vi I got the Viper Squad in uh, about three days, <laughs> and I still haven't got my boot bad toy store stuff. That's in the States. It's absolutely pathetic. But anyway... That's enough bitching and moaning for one day. Um, hopefully, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Hopefully, this, this video was informative and helped uh, in some way, anyway. But uh, I've got, what Jason said, I got like over 30 figures in your pile of loot. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I still have I still have Omega Supreme to ship. I still have Scorponok to ship. I still have a bunch of other figures I have to ship. I can't, I, I just, I'm trying to ship them in smaller increments just because like, I don't want to pay a ton of money on tax because tax between tax and shipping is like, I think it's just those two items. And I have a, a bunch more. It's like going to be like 60 bucks worth between tax and shipping 60 or 70 bucks. So Uh, you just got those today too. Awesome. Yeah, it's a, it's a good, it looks like a good set. I'm really digging this, uh, this Betty figure just in package, just staring at her. She looks really awesome. I kind of, man, I'm really kind of bummed that they don't, they don't go back to the little display cubes that they were giving us for so long. I actually sent the Joy Toy a message about that, so maybe they'll get back to me. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but it'd be nice to get those display cubes again because we really like those. I'd like to say at least the majority of people like those. Exactly why haven't they shipped <laughs> taxes? <laughs> Damn you, taxes. But, do, do, do. But, all right. Well, I think I'll end it here. It's going on 100 minutes. Holy shit. Um, I told myself it was going to be a half an hour video. I was like, do a half an hour video. Just talk what you have to talk about, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, and on top of that the uh the stream was freezing uh, i'm also doing this on my phone not my ipad so it's a little bit different probably with quality and such so but uh thanks guys i appreciate it you guys have a good night thank you to everyone let me give you guys a little shout out like i always do uh and thanks for popping in man zorpox uh i gotta hit you guys up uh and kyle to see if uh, 
guys want to maybe hang out this Sunday or we can talk, shoot, shoot, shoot the shit for a little bit. Uh, Woodman, thanks for popping in. I know you're gone, bud, but thanks for popping in. Gaz, as always, brother, you got to hit me up so we can play some uh, some video games and stuff. Um, Holland Bricks, what's going on, buddy? Appreciate you. Uh, do, 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 do. Jason, as always. And Jason, I think I've actually finished your custom figure. I finally finished it. And I think I hope you'll really like the character, too. Um... And I still have to finish S. Myers. I also have to finish... S. Myers sent me the G.I. Joe Classified Duke figure, which is the only classified figure I own. So I'll be doing that quick review of it and my thoughts on... This way you guys can get all my thoughts on the Classified series. Uh, said Hole and Bricks. Uh... Melna Milos, thanks for popping in. Thanks for hanging out. I'm glad I could help any way I could. Uh, obviously, Terry, thank you for pop or for hanging out and such. Thanks for modding also. Uh, I didn't see Ian Joe, but thanks for popping in, bud. And I do agree with your point, Ian Joe. What Joy Toy figures have better articulation than Acid Rain. Uh, uh, action Figure Expert, thanks for popping in. Tim Casa, thanks for popping in, bud. Uh, do, 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 do. Just don't want to miss anybody. I think that might be it. If I missed anybody, I apologize. Dem Guts, what's up, bud? You and I need to do a chat, by the way. Dem Guts. And you need to hit me up on PlayStation. What the hell, man? <laughs> Uh, S. Myers, no worries. I'm going to be doing another live stream Sunday. Ho hopefully I get the figures in to do the live stream. Um, I'm still working on your custom figure. Don't worry. I know it's been a while since I said I was going to do that, and I've done other stuff before, but I, I apologize for that. But I, I never forget, though. Uh, you too, action figure expert. You have a great night. Uh, time to use your phone. It's better than your iPad. Okay. Well, duly noted. I will, uh, maybe I'll do that from now on. Especially since I, most of my videos are three and three quarter inch figures anyway. Um, but you guys all have a good night. Like I said. Um, and uh, thank you so much. S. Myers, like I said, uh, you, the uh, review of the figure you sent me. And thank you so much for sending me that. That was really nice of you. Like I said, I still owe you one, so let me know if uh, you need anything, and I'll I'll be uh, as accommodating as I possibly can. Uh, but that was really nice of you to send me that. I appreciate that a lot. So stay tuned for that review, and uh, I'll see you guys Sunday, I hope. Worst case scenario, I'll put something on my Facebook page if I can't do it Sunday and let you all know. So Or the Strident page. One of those two pages, I'll put something up there. So... Um, but, uh, you guys have a great night. Thanks for hanging out with me and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the flip side.